Phoenix born, born in 1981, has always been attracting buyers, sellers, and experts. Meetings, forums, and banquets are ideal places for wine tasting. This every two-year Bodo trip would never be missed by any wine lovers. Bodo, lying in the south of Garon River, is a busy part of the city. Sunny days throughout the year enables tracts of vineyards to thrive. Since the 18th century, Bodo is well known for its high quality wines in the world. In and around the city, the 5,000 building of the 18th century style, survival of World War II, stung visitors' eyes by preserving the grace and antiquity of the city. The 2009 Vienna Expo is held on schedule despite of the global economic crisis. Does this indicate a steady growth of the wine market in the future? Before going to the exhibition room, we interview the president of Vienna Expo, the late Pop. He is also the CEO of Chateau Mouton Rothschild, one of the five top chateaus in France. There's an impact of uh, the uh, the crisis. There's no doubt about that. Uh, it's a bit too early to uh, to tell you what the impact is going to be, uh, but what I think is important is that we have here uh, everything uh, that uh, the uh, the world of uh, wines and uh, spirits uh, counts, and uh, even in the crisis time, I think uh, these people get together, get to uh, see each other, and uh, if they don't. Uh, Finalized business. At least they are really setting uh, the grounds for future businesses. So I think it, this is really a platform for uh, uh, major players in the world to uh, to meet and uh, discuss uh, potential business. Statistics shows that visitors of Vinexpo 2009 exceeded expectations. Over 46,000 professionals of the wine and spirits industry. From 135 different countries, traveled here for this gala. Despite a slight 7.56 percent decrease in attendance compared to 2007, what really stood out at the Expo 2009 was the high proportion of international professionals, 34 percent of the overall total, a new record for the exhibition. Vin Expo is the situation and the possibility for us to find the distributors we wish to the export market. Vin Expo was a very good exhibition for us, and、uh, it was the occasion of introducing the new packaging of、uh, the Frappa line of cognacs, especially this、uh, VIP XO New Decanter. This is our first time to Wine Expo. Lots of people can learn about Morocco wines here. To tap the Asian market, Vin Expo made a special arrangement for the event year. In June 2008, the first exhibition outside of France was held in Hong Kong. In the last uh, few uh, years, we've had.、Uh, Vin Expo in Hong Kong, and、uh, we've gone to the、uh, the Chinese market in Hong Kong and the Chinese uh, uh, business, and I think that has really uh, uh, triggered、uh, visitors to come to Bordeaux.、Uh, today,、uh, China is one of the major players in the wine and spirits business. It is, as far as wines are concerned, now、uh, one of the key countries, one of the top ten. Uh, producing and、uh, and consuming countries in the world, so we see more and more Chinese. We have already started for now three years、um, in Beijing. The next provision for us to expect for a national、um, distributor for whole China. China is a very important developing market for、uh, the Frappin Cognac Company. And、uh, we are pleased to uh, also uh, introduce the、uh, luxury cognacs, such as the、uh, 1888、uh, decanter, which is 
in, uh, on the stand in the, in, on my back. Oui, c'est un, right. un marché important. China de toute façon, is a very important market, which has a very high interest in us. Both China and Morocco have the best food culture over thousands of years. Our Morocco wines can match Chinese food very well. Traditional wine countries still play the important role in the 2009 Expo. France, Spain and Italy all had a grand exhibition in the form of the National Hall, with all of their top chateaus participated. Clip Fell is a name well known in the Alsace wine countries. Alsace, located in the northeastern France, between the Rhine and the Vosges is the best white wine producing area in France. Different from others, Alsace wine is named not by the producing area but by the grapes. Most of wines of this area are made from one single varietal. The pure flavor gives an easy and direct touch of the grape, the vintage and terroir. The range I have here um, is um, probably the, the most popular, the most uh, important from our range. We have about uh, 40 different kind of, um, of um, product uh, today at the company Clipfer. That force quality is really the, um, the, um, the most popular for us and our specialty. We have 40 hectares and 20 hectares of Gevers Traminaire. Gevers Traminaire means spicy Traminaire. It's really the fruitiest, the spiciest wine of our collection. And the grape with here is really the top quality of the Gevers Traminaire because it's a vendange tardy, a late harvest. Clipfair was created in 1824. Guy Klipfer and his brother are the fifth generation of the family. Under the management of the brothers, every year 180 million bottles are exported to Europe and North America. Klipfer Klosteser is the best vintage to recommend in 2005. We have harvested that, um, those grapes around the end of October, beginning of November. Of course, we get um, a larger concentration of the berries and it gives them a, more, a sweeter wine. It's really sweet. It's a beautiful aspect of uh, sweetness of uh, exotic fruit. It's, um, you can see the wine, it's a brilliant, it's a yellow gold uh, color. It's, um, it's a wine associated um, as a dessert, dessert wine. Um, beautiful aperitif as well. The nose, the nose gives perfectly the exotic fruit, uh, like uh, lychees, like mango, like pineapple. It's a sweet wine with uh, 40 grams uh, residual sugar. It means something like um, like a dessert wine. That's that's perfect with a fruit salad, as well as tart, as well as chocolate as well. So the nose. The nose gives perfectly the, um, a garden of fruit, a garden of exotic fruit, and the taste then. The taste gives um, a splendid palette of different aroma, like the, um, like apple and beautiful flowers as well as the rose flowers, and. Um, that's a perfect wine for a reception as well as um, all the, the meals which required um, a spicy and sweet wine. Compared with the traditional wine countries, the new rising countries do not have big exhibition platforms for their wines. Some even shared one platform with others. But their wines, as those from Chile and South Africa, Attractive visitors nonetheless. Alors moi, I je believe crois in the quality of the land of Morocco and its terroir. For me, 
Our wines are the new wines of the old world. I'm confident in the quality of our land and all the people who work on the grapes. Morocco, located in the northwest of Africa continent, is a major wine producing area in Arabian countries. Its abundant sunshine, large temperature difference of day and night, and the sandy soil are very suitable for the growth of grapes. The whites are very alert, with much fruit taste. It's a real pleasure to drink them. They give us a true moment of happiness and pleasant in the mouth. Our Morocco white wines go well with fish and seafood. They go very well with the flavors and smells of the sea. The red wines are good surprises and different from expectations. It is important. They are considered as medicine. It is a great quality for good wines. The red wines go well with duck and other meat, such as lamb, which is everywhere in Morocco. What's more, the quality of Morocco's wine is as good as French, but the price is only one third, which makes a very good buying choice. Under the circumstance of global economic crisis, the price trend of wine and spirits was the focus of all experts and buyers in 2009 in Expo. Despite the going down of some wines, Cognac keeps a firm growth in price and is pursued by buyers warmly. The Frappin company located in the uh, Grand Champagne is uh, the, the first and most important producer of cognacs uh, with 300 hectares of property and 216 hectares of vineyard. Uh, we uh, are proud to uh, present to the Chinese consumers the, uh, these decanters and nice uh, cognacs uh, to, uh, of, from Grand Champagne. The price of a cognac will continue to rise without any retribution due to the limited production of really low yield grapes and a decreasing number of old vintage. The investment on cognac turned into a safe harbor under the tsunami of the global economic crisis, thanks to its scarcity and its historical and ethical value. The Asian consumers are more interested in cognac than ever. Sales increased by 6.5% last year. Many cognac companies were optimistic about the large potential of the Chinese market. Prime in 1888, the production is limited to 1888 bottles. The golden cup and crystal bottles add more to its extravagance. The current price is ranging from 4,000 to 6,000 US dollars per bottle, which is considered the best moment to step in. The 5 Day Vin Expo 2009 also includes many forums, wine tastings, and banquets. More is to come in the next show.